In a previous video, I set up a pendulum that sort of traced out a Lissaios pattern, and I thought, wouldn't it be cool to graph this? So I set up this swing that allows me to trace the motion just by putting a pen on top of this notepad. So unfortunately the motion died out rather quickly because I have too much friction from the pen even though it's a fountain pen with very light pressure on the paper. This pattern goes from a straight line to eventually one like this is because the period of swing in this direction is different from the period of swing in this direction. Is because for swinging this way the length of the pendulum is from here to this corner for much of the weight whereas swinging this way it all swings in parallel, so the length of swing is from here to here, middle of the board, and that's a slightly shorter length. Now, I'd like that swing to last a little bit longer, so I'm just going to add some weight to this swing, which will give it more inertia. I think I'd like these lines a little bit further apart, so I think what I need is I need this swing to be more different from this swing. And I think if I put the weights further apart, that will accentuate the uh, difference of distance from one axis to another, which should throw the periods out a bit further. <laughs> So with the two different periods of swing, first they started out in phase, tracing a line like this. Then they went circular and then completely out of phase like this. And then they went back in phase before it completely died out. So I thought it'd be interesting if the ratio of swings on here wasn't close to one to one, maybe something like three halves. And for that, I have to shorten the length of this pendulum in one direction. And I figured by keeping these from going side to side at about this level here, that might work out. Now the swing is roughly proportional to the square root of the length, 29 centimeters from the swing here to get that period. Rather than wasting a lot of paper, I'm timing the swing to make sure I got the relative periods about right. And then making minor adjustments. I didn't get the periods quite right, but I also think I want a little bit more weight on there, just so it swings a bit longer. I moved these bars up a bit to make this pendulum longer, which should set the ratio to about 3 to 4. And finally trying out a 2 to 1 ratio. Well, that was kind of fun to experiment. And here's various shapes that I've drawn with it. Kind of like a rose engine, except it's much simpler. Of course, the same thing could be achieved just by plotting decaying sinusoids against each other on a computer, but something physical is always way more fun. <laughs> 